Hello guys, once again, it's Matt, and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons. Make sure to subscribe. We are trying to hit 50,000 subscribers until the end of the year, so help me out there. and Let's go, guys. So, I just posted a video about the SU-39 and overall the SU-25T as a CAS aircraft, so go check it out. Uh, and here we have another video that we're going to talk about the SU-25T a little bit more on the tech tree and also the usefulness of this aircraft in air rb right or in air battles in general it is let me say like right from the get-go it is a problematic aircraft to say the least in air rb although it's a very very good cast aircraft in ground battles and to be honest if you are left alone it can be a very very good cast aircraft in air rb but that's where the problem comes from i always talked about this since the beginning of the channel that one of the main problems that War Thunder have, and it was kind of addressed in the roadmap, if I'm not mistaken, that they are trying to fix this type of thing, um, which is just the maps, you know? The maps are just too focused on a center kind of level of engagement. So you only kind of see fighting in the middle of the map in a certain point, not only in the air, but also in the ground. So the ground targets and the ground uh, vehicles that you can destroy uh, AI, you know, and stuff for a ground vehicle that you are trying to grind. They're basically all in the same spot in the middle of the map. So they're not spread out or anything like that, which means that you need to go on and fight a lot of fighters sometimes. Which means that a lot of these attacker aircraft are really difficult to actually make it, um, you know, just make it good enough for you to actually grind it. You know, so I noticed that with, for example, the A7. The A7 is a very difficult aircraft to actually fly and just kill a lot of targets in RRB. But then at least you have kind of a situation there that you can take. I mean, it's a low enough BR that you can take just the, the ground, basically the uh, the gun pods and just go head-ons with fighters and you will normally win a, a head-on, right? But with the SU-25, you're kind of lacking a lot, you know? You basically have a lot less performance than anything else. I mean, why you should... I mean, it's not even a subject that we need to talk about. I mean, right? It's a SU-25T. Why does it need to be a good fighter? It doesn't need. So, I don't know. It's more fault, faulty uh, maps than anything else, right? Even though, yes, you can do some interesting things, as you're going to see right here, to actually make it work, uh, you know, so depending on the BR and stuff, you can make it work and get some cool kills like this with the Vicar and stuff, but almost every match you will be overwhelmed with fighters much more advanced than yours flying very close to you. So it's not a very enjoyable aircraft to fly right now, it really is difficult. And I can see this aircraft actually having some form of change in the future. I don't know if it's going to be a lower BR. I don't really agree with a lower BR just due to the fact that it is a very good cast aircraft to actually use in ground maps. But also, I mean, what else is there to do? Well, one thing that we might see, I don't know if I agree with it or not, but it feels like it might be the only option if this aircraft is actually that bad in the statistics and people cannot even grind it would be to actually add the R-73 for it, and only it, you know? So, I don't know how I feel about that, I don't have an opinion, to be honest, but... It might be one of the on, I mean, one of the only things that you can actually do in this aircraft to actually improve the performance of it. Because it is really difficult to grind this aircraft. Imagine getting it stock, and having to grind it out... in... ground battles. With just basically the cannon, you know, and minor stuff it is going to take a lot of time and i don't think it should take this amount of time to actually grind an aircraft no matter the aircraft that it is right so normally air rb is a good way to grind attacker aircraft but the, for this one it really does suffer a lot you're i mean i don't know how many matches i got in and i was always optimistic like no this one is going to be the better one this one is the one that i kill a lot of fighters or and at least everybody will let me alone and stuff. But every single time that I did that, 
that I thought that the match ended like in 30 seconds. I always died. Like it was really, really difficult to actually get a kill. And I mean, it's just not the aircraft's fault. It's just the way that everything is, right? Uh, it's the BR, it's the, the advanced aircraft. This aircraft is not supposed to be flying against these fighters. It's a cast aircraft. It's made to have a lot of air coverage when it starts to attack the ground targets or at least no fighters nearby, which is a, a thing that you can actually do in ground battles, but in air battles you cannot do. So it really, really is a difficult aircraft to fly. As I, I mean, I said in the other video, in the SU-39 video, I am flying a little bit of the SU-39 here, just to show that it doesn't change much from it. And it really is a difficult aircraft also to fly, even though you have the radar, it doesn't change much. And at the end of the day, it really isn't the greatest grinder of all, you know, it really is not. Uh, i much rather have a MiG-23ML than this to grind as a premium aircraft. And to the normal, like, battles, I mean, for the normal version, I mean, the, the Tech 3 version of the of the SU-25, I mean, it, uh, it's, it's problematic. I don't have kind of a, an option to you guys, you just have to kind of stick it up with it. I would say just grab bombs and try to destroy as many, um, you know, ground bases as possible. And then if a target comes directly to you, maybe later use the Vikirs to actually kill it. But it's, you know, it's doable, but it's hard. And the performance is problematic and you know how it is, right? So don't expect anything amazing with this aircraft apart from the CAS option of it. And it's fine, it's fine, it's made for that. It's an aircraft that it's not made for be fighting fighters like this. Oh, <coughs> sorry. So it's like, what else you're gonna do, right? It's pretty much it, you know, nothing else we can do. And I don't know, uh, I mean, I like to ask the question, right? Do you think the R-73 would be a good option for this aircraft? Does it need, or I mean, I don't know, like, and yeah, you will see a lot of these happening in the flight in this aircraft. A lot of just a cluster of fur balls every way that you look and a lot of F-16s and F-14s and MiGs and everything shooting each other and you are in the middle trying to get a lock with the Vicure to actually do a head-on shot and evading sparrows and it's kind of, oh my god, it's way too much even. <laughs> And sometimes the Vicure just doesn't launch for some reason, uh, even though it is in the box in there. So it's just problematic. It really is difficult to fly it in Air RB. So if you have it, try to stay on Ground RB. It's much more fun, it's much more usable, or even Simulator. Simulator is always nice to use any aircraft, right? But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you think about the SU-25T and the SU-39. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.